Good morning students. Welcome back to the chemistry lesson. Matter around us. The first one element. The second topic compound. The third topic mixture. What is an element? Element is a substance that cannot be broken down chemically. For example copper, gold, silver, iron, everything. Compound. What, the two or more elements combine together to form a compound. Example sodium chloride carbon dioxide, water, etc. The third one, mixture. Two or more substances mixed together and the substances, they retain their original properties or individual properties is called as mixture. Example, air. Air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases. Soil. Clay, it's a mixture of clay, soil and various salts. The third example, take a, a china dish containing a mixture of iron and sulfur. Iron is a grey in colour and sulfur is yellow in colour. And uh, both of them are here, the iron and sulfur, they mixed together here. In the next china dish, the same mixture, iron and sulfur, now we are heating what happens, it forms a compound iron sulphide. Iron sulphide is a compound, it has the properties that are different from the properties of iron and sulphur. So, now you come to the uh, differences between compound and mixture. Now, what are the differences between mixture and compound? What are the examples of mixture? Air, soil. And compound is a mixture. What is the mixture? Examples of compound, water, sodium chloride, carbon dioxide, everything. Here, air is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. So, these are called as components or constituents. So, what are what is called components? The substances making up the mixture is called as components or constituents so in air nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor so these are called as components or constituents so here the first difference it contains mixture contains two or more substances for example uh, nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor everything they are compound compound here it is a single substance water or sodium chloride or carbon dioxide everything the next one constituent or components may be pres present in any ratio or any proportion here the in compound the constituents or components are present in a definite ratio or proportions here the they show the picture so show the properties of their constituents okay so here they do not show the properties of their constituents here the components or constituents can be separated by physical methods here components or constituents cannot be uh, separated by physical methods so it can be separated only by one or more chemical reactions these are the differences between mixture and compound types of mixture mixture can be classified into two homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture what is homogeneous mixture? A mixture in which the components cannot be seen separately is called as homogeneous mixture. Example, tap water, sugar solution or sugar scrub, everything. Then what is heterogeneous mixture? A mixture in which the components can be seen separately is called as heterogeneous mixture. Example, oil and water or iron and sulfur powder. Then, a homogeneous mixture can be classified into true solution and alloys. And heterogeneous mixture can be classified into colloidal solution and suspension. Homogeneous mixture can be classified into two, true solution and alloys. What is an alloy? Alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or metals with non-metals. They combine together. Example, brass, bronze. This, next one, true solution. Before that, you, what is solution? 
in solution the component present in lesser amount by weight is called a solute the component present in higher amount by weight is called a solvent for example sugar solution the beaker containing sugar solution what are the components here Sh sugar and water there are two components so this is called as binary solution here which is the lesser amount sugar is the lesser amount so it is called as solute and the solvent here which is the solvent water is the solvent here it is the higher amount so it is called as solvent so in a solution the component present in lesser amount by weight is called the solute and the component present in higher amount by weight is called as solvent now come to the true solution what does true solution means the best example sugar in water or salt in water here it is a homogeneous mixture the small solute particles that are dissolved in a solvent it is called as true solution best example what are the particles the small sugar particles that is dissolved in a solvent that is water it is called as a true solution best example sugar in water or salt in water in heterogeneous mixture is it is classified into two colloidal solution and suspension what is colloidal solution it is a homo heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances here it is dispersed here it is namely dispersed into dispersed phase and dispersion medium the best example milk powder in water starch blood everything in milk powder it contains a small particle is there here here it is distributed this is a dispersed phase the same colloidal particle it is scattered or dispersed it is called as dispersion medium example salt sorry starch blood you can see the cloudy mixture it is called as a colloidal solution the next one suspension it is a heterogeneous mixture the small insoluble solid particles that is settled down at the bottom it is called as suspension example chalk powder in water the chalk powder they settles at the bottom of the beaker so it is you can see the two faces so it is called as suspension so suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances here two substance here chalk powder in water that settles at the bottom and it is called as suspension